Hublot is a brand that doesn't know the term under the radar. Their watches are made for one thing and one thing only, to be noticed. Enter the Hublot Ferrari Unico Speciale. Ferrari and Hublot have a lot of history together. At one point, the Swiss house was an F1 partner of the Italian brand. And this watch was made to celebrate the Ferrari Italia 458 Speciale. As we discover this watch, we can start seeing a lot of the inspiration that comes from the car. For starters, we have the strap which is the same color as the racing stripe found on the 458. The mesh found in the dial is inspired in the mesh that Ferrari used for their air intakes. Furthermore, we can find the prancing horse at 9 and the Ferrari logo on the pusher to start the chronograph. The 45mm white case is constructed from black ceramic with a satin or polished finish on various surfaces. The black ceramic bezel features 6 trademark H-shaped screws in black titanium with a red composite resin lower bezel. The highly scratch resistant material Hublot uses is a zirconium oxide mixture. It starts being a powder where pigments are added to obtain a certain color. The mixture is injected in a mold which is then baked under intense heat and pressure. The result is a material that is extremely hard and durable. Inside the black ceramic case, you'll find the HUB1241 Unico automatic flyback chronograph movement, developed in-house by Hublot. The HUB1241 Unico movement is built up out of 331 components. It operates at a rate of 28,900 bph and has 72 hours of power reserve. The movement has a 60 minute chronograph with flyback function, allowing it to snap back to 12 o'clock instantly after resetting the chronograph. It also includes a skeletonized date wheel indicated through the date window at 3 o'clock. A nice touch is the yellow piece beneath the window in the same color as used in the Ferrari logo, which is the official color of the city of Modena, the birthplace of the brand. Of course, both front and back are covered by a sapphire crystal, and the case back allows a big view onto the movement and the wheel-like rotor. One more, albeit less standout hint to the design of the car. To be completely honest, price-wise, Hublot has never been the best option. They sell for extremely high prices and the grey market is full of them at 40 or 50% of the retail price. I don't know if the price of $26,000 is justified just for their in-house movement or their use of materials. My only comment would be, if you want a Hublot, buy it used. You will save more than 50% the retail price, or more. But, what do you think? 